go, y'all. Lean wagon or the rover. I put some ice on you because you gotta go. I know I gotta keep my shorty on go. Drop that ass to the floor. Best trait, I say fashion, cause everything's a statement. And I be killing fabrics. Every fit I create is great, it screams bad chicken. At this rate, the hate is seems average and misplaced. Hey guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome if you're new. Today I will be doing my first ever shoe haul featuring shoes from Miss Lola's Y'all. I've really been shopping with them for a while now, like since high school, early college days, back when their name used to be Lola Shootique. Since then, they've rebranded to Miss Lola and it's just great to see their growth. Most times I always get heels. They have really, really good quality heels for an affordable price. I do have a couple of heels that I wanna show you guys today. And I'm really trying to like spice up my shoe closet when it comes to like some of the colors. So you guys are gonna see some fun colors when it comes to the heels. Before we start, make sure to like this video, comment your favorite heel down below within the video, and don't forget to subscribe. The first heel we have is these yellow heels. They look very bright on camera because of the ring light, but they are a true yellow color. These are designer dupe for, I think, the Bottega stretch sandals, if I'm not mistaken. And we all know if this Bottega is luxury, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. These, on the other hand, are affordable. Um, it does have the net in the front and then the net in the back. I did recently get this, so I haven't worn it yet, but I have tried it on and it is very, very comfortable. I am going on vacation very, very soon, so stay tuned. But yeah, I will be taking these heels on vacation with me just to put some looks together. One thing about me when it comes to heels, I really, 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 really love strappy sandals. Like, I just think one thing about them is I like wearing shorts or skirts, so sometimes like your legs kind of look bare. So like the strappiness kind of like, it just gives us some umph down there. I also did see this TikTok or reel of this girl. She's also on YouTube, her name is Caitlin, and she kind of gives you a different um, style of strapping up your shoes, and I've tried it. And surprisingly, it allows the, um, the straps to stay on your leg for longer. I know y'all know sometimes you tie up a shoe on your leg and then you're walking and all of a sudden the strings just kind of slide down. But her way actually keeps the, the strings up on your leg. All the shoes in this video will be a size nine and they do fit true to size when I did try them on. The next pair of heels we have are these green heels. If y'all been watching this summer, so much green has been wearing, like so much green. I feel like I've realized I've ordered a lot of green without realizing it before. But yeah, there's so much green and I just wanted to spice up my summer heels closet with some colors. So I got this green pair of heels. One thing I love about the heel is this accent piece. It is gold and if you guys know me, like I live for gold, like gold, 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 gold. Um, so yeah gold has to be incorporated somewhere within my outfit and the fact that this heel has it is just like just kissed the top of the shoe is a pointy heel and it does have um, a toe section as well as this clear part for your feet to like kind of be secured in the heel another thing that i love about this is it kind of has a built-in anklet which i haven't really seen with many heels so far but it does have this gold piece and I feel like anklets are a necessary staple when it comes to summer. I love wearing them when it comes to wearing sneakers, heels, different type of sandals in the summer. So the fact that this has a built-in one is great because a lot of the times like um, I just lose the anklets sometimes if I take them off. So just having a built-in one is great. And unlike the yellow heels, I feel like the yellow heel straps were a little bit shorter. These straps are really, really long and they do have gold tips on them. So they just really incorporated so much gold with this shoe, which I really love. I'm not sure if this is a dupe for anything, but the shoe is comfortable and it's cute. So get you, get you these. The next pair of heels that I have is these green heels. They're actually metallic instead of just like the deep solid green color. And this is very different from a lot of the heels that I've seen over time. I just, I don't know, the metallic just caught my eye. I'm really into gold and gold is already kind of like a metallic color. So 
think the green just drew in on my eyes. They're really just simple. They're kind of like the classic heel, just has a simple green band across the shoe. And again, you know, I love my straps, so they do have like the strappiness to them. The heel isn't like that tall. Like, I don't know about y'all. I love walking in heels. So like, I don't know, this doesn't seem too bad for me personally. I'm not sure if this is a dupe for anything, but it's more of just like a classic heel overall, just that it's in a different color. If you do decide to get these heels and pair an outfit, I think these heels would look so nice with yellow or like the deep cobalt blue. Those like combos with the green, they just chef's kiss for me. But yeah, these are comfortable, classic, and they got straps. The next pair we have is this lavender pair. And like I said, I'm trying to spice up my heels collection. So this isn't normally a color I would go for, but the style of the shoe and just like the color is very like alluring. So I had to get it as well. I don't have like a lot of lavender pieces. So it's just kind of like good to step out the box a little bit. So for this, it's kind of giving like a mule. Well, a mule is a little bit shorter when it comes to the heel part, but it's kind of like a sandal type of heel it does have a clear backing right here and then the net is on top of the clear backing and then it does come with the straps which again i love the lavender heels would definitely look nice with some yellow or white and i think when i go on vacation i may wear it with like a white dress i'm not sure yet still in the planning phase when it comes to my outfits but i definitely do know i want to take these heels and style them up when I go on vacay. I love the lavender and the style of that heel so much that I also got a, another pair and I'm not sure if it looks like very true to color, but it is a neon orange color. Again, same style. So it has the square toed heel, the clear backing with the net on the top and the same length heel along with the straps. Y'all know I love. And yeah, I just, I've been wanting to spice up the colors like I said within my shoe collection. So this is a little bit different. The outfit that I have on right now will go perfectly with these orange heels. Like y'all, orange looks very nice with like an army green color, white, because white goes with everything. But yeah, if I had to wear it, like the army green looks very nice with this heel as you guys can see. Y'all, when it comes to heels, there are certain colors that are like a must have staple to be in your closet. And those are like, you must have a black heel, you must have a white heel. If you like gold, you must have a gold heel. And if you like silver, you must have a silver heel. Like I feel like those are like four staple colors. They go with any and everything. So that's why they're like must have. So I did get a new pair of gold heels and they actually didn't come in like the pink Miss Lola bag. They came in like this like cute little white bag and it's kind of giving angelic vibes, but you know, so I'm gonna open it with you guys. It is this pair and it gives gold and clear. So you guys can't really tell because of the ring light, but this piece that you put your feet in, so as you can see, um, it does have like that clear section across the feet. And then in the back, it does have like a clear. It's giving Cinderella heel to me like this. Cinderella and then it does come with the strappy part that you can put around your leg which you guys Already have been hearing me brag about so much But yeah, it does have that and the front of the shoe is not like pointy heeled or round It's kind of just like a square toed heel. This is just like a classic the heel doesn't do too much The clear part, you know, is really good whether your toes are painted in white for the summer baby pink baby blue those are like the three essential colors to put on your toes, just saying. And it does also have the gold um, Miss Lola, as you guys can kind of see, right in on the shoe. But yeah, these, I'm excited to wear these out. I'm trying not to overpack when I go on my next vacation, but it's kind of just something that I can't help. <laughs> um, I'm really trying though, I'm actively trying. But these are gonna go in my suitcase as well. The next pair we have is also a classic and I wore this out before so it's a little dirt on the front so excuse it but these are actually very comfortable. I think it's also because the heel isn't too high as you can see it is very very short um, compared to some of the other ones. It does have the square heel and the clear in the front. The one thing is if you sweat or like you know you're outside with like dirt and dust it will kind of like clog up here. 
so just be aware the shoe is comfortable i wore these to the club when i went to houston and i know y'all probably watch a vlog if you haven't make sure to stop go check it out come back i'll link it up here but they were comfortable they were really really comfortable if you need a black heel like i said it is a classic or like an essential staple piece to have in your closet these are definitely one that i would recommend at the time i didn't know if that little tying up your shoe trick but i would try it with these heels as well and these like the strings for this is a really 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 long as you can <laughs> they stretch across the screen okay so the last pair of heels we have and don't go anywhere because i still had two more shoes to show you guys but the last pair of heels that i got from miss lola is this pair and honestly guys this is really me stepping out of my comfort zone because as y'all seen from like the last couple of heels i love the like skinny heel square cut pointy cut round cut type of shoe this is more of a platform heel. And I know in the beginning of the year, probably like February, March, like I started seeing Jada also wearing these type of shoes. And I don't know, hers was cute. And I just wanted a classic pair, like it's black. I can wear it with like a lot more things than if I was supposed to just get like a regular pink or something. These are comfortable because they are platform shoes. I think this part of the shoe just makes it a little bit easier on your foot. If you're someone who doesn't, um, feel comfortable walking in some of those like skinny um, heels in the back. This is definitely going to keep you leveled on the ground. As you can see, it's a huge, huge, huge heel. Y'all, like, you should be fine if you get these. The front has this kind of like suede material to it. I try these on, like, they're comfortable walking in, but I haven't worn them outside. I haven't jumped into that to that bag yet in terms of taking that risk so we'll see how that goes the strings are also of that suede material and they aren't they're long straps for the black heels that i showed previously they're a little bit longer and they are more of a classic piece so this is for like if you like platforms or you're just trying to take like um you know if you're trying to dress outside of the box take a little risk can get these and they do have silver tip ends for the straps as well they also do have like a suede part on the bottom and i think that's just great like you know so you don't slip a lot of heels that come these days the top part is a little bit slippery so these you're gonna be good these are like strong stable on the floor type heels we all love heels and whatnot but we also know how uncomfortable they can get they can hurt our feet after a while if you're wearing them for long periods of time sometimes you just want to walk flat on the ground so i also got a pair of slippers from miss lola's and these shoes you know they're white so they can go with anything you can also wear them to the beach which is really good these are size nine as well i know the camera is showing it a little bit bright so again i will include a video of me wearing them but they do have a bow on the front it kind of looks like a little candy wrapper tied onto the front of the slippers very simple very comfortable me personally when i wear any type of sandals or like slippers i kind of like them high off the ground but these are really, really, really flat. As you can see, they have like no heel whatsoever. So it literally feels like you're walking directly on the floor. <laughs> so that's the one thing. Um, it's not bad, but if that's not your thing, then um, note that. I personally love like having a high shoe, a high sandal. Like if you guys watch any of my vlogs when I'm going vacation, part of my sandal is always like this thick. So these are like a little bit different for me, but taking the risk, jumping outside the box when it comes to dressing up. Next, we have these kind of like Claire jelly type slippers. I did wear these out, so they're a little bit dirty on the bottom. So I don't want to touch it too much. But just like that other pair of slippers, they are flat. These ones have like a little bit more on them. Um, but yeah, they're also very, very flat. You guys can't see, but I'll include the video. It does have like this chain, this clear chain on the on the foot part and the toe part as well. And it does have like little gold accent pieces. <laughs> Y'all know I love it. And I would recommend getting them. I think they're like really good for vacation. If you need to slip something on your feet, run out really quick. I feel like these are duped for something, but I actually don't really, I don't really know, but. If you want them, the link will be down below in the description box. Those are all the shoes for this video today. Make sure to comment down below which one was your favorite heel out of the video today. 
any of the classics, any of the colors, which ones did you like, which ones did you love. All the links, again, will be posted down in the description box. I do wear a size nine, so all of these shoes were a size nine, and they do fit true to size. Before you leave this channel, don't forget to subscribe. As we are on the way to 1K, I'm super excited, guys. And I think at 1K, I'm probably gonna do like a giveaway, so. Make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you're turning on your notification bell so you guys can be updated when I post new videos. Make sure to share it to your friends, make sure to share it to your family. Let them know, make them join in. I also, I feel like I haven't settled in on a like community name. In the beginning, I was like girlies and gents, but I don't know if I want that to stick. So I just need to go back to the drawing board and figure out like a community name to call you guys. If you do have any suggestions, make sure to put them down in the comment section as well. But until next time, bye guys.